caught on camera stalking the streets of New York. Police released this footage after seven Asian women were attacked in Manhattan in the space of just two hours on Sunday night. Two of the victims required hospital treatment. It's thought none of the women, aged between 19 and 57, knew their attacker. 28-year-old Stephen Zayons was arrested on Wednesday and charged with seven counts of assault and attempted assault that have been classified as hate crimes. He also faces seven counts of aggravated harassment and harassment that have not been classified as hate crimes. The incidents over the weekend follow a series of high-profile attacks targeting Asian women in the city, including the murder of Christina Yuna Lee, stabbed to death by a homeless man who followed her into her apartment last month. And on Monday, the family of Gui Ying Ma revealed she died from her injuries 10 weeks after being attacked with a rock outside her home in Queens. At a vigil for Ma, members of the city's Asian community said the incidents have had a huge impact. When I think about the fears, I think about my parents. My parents are afraid to go into the park. They are afraid because they don't know what's going to happen. What happens if they get shoved when they walk down the street of East Broadway to do their shopping? The New York Police Department says the number of anti-Asian hate crimes in the city rose by 361% in 2021 compared to the previous year. Experts say there are several factors contributing to the increase. It could be that there are actually more hate crimes towards Asian Americans, which is a very likely, uh, like, there is a high likelihood of that. Um, but it also might be uh, that there are actually reporting such crimes as hate crimes. Um, prior to 2020, um, it might have been that these sorts of crimes would have just gone unnoticed or just labeled as a uh, simple misdemeanor. The mayor of New York has pledged to tackle hate crime, announcing a crackdown on safety in the subway after an Asian woman died when she was pushed in front of a train by a homeless man in January. But the city's Asian residents continue to call for more to be done to address the fear they face every day. Sarah Walton, CGTN, New York.